Hi, hello, one I come and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to see how to create or how to generate a HTML report in your GUI mode. So once you run your test, you you have comp uh, or you are going to start your test or you're going to run your test in JMeter and you want to create a HTML report out of it. So usually uh, we know how to generate HTML report in non GUI mode and I have de uh, did several videos on that. Uh, if you cannot find it, I can help you uh, to find the video in my playlist. But coming back to this HTML, I mean the GUI mode. So in this uh, video, I'll show you how to uh, approach this step by step so that you can create your HTML report at the end of your test. So for that, you have to do a few things before you start your test. So without that, you will not be able to generate your HTML report because you need few files which you are supposed to have it for your uh, HTML report. And before we move on to this video, this is me, Yosan Shamnugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sla YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and give a thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you so much for your support on my recent interview question videos. And if you haven't watched it yet, please do watch that as well. And uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to see um, how to generate HTML report in GUI mode. So before that, I'm going to use my latest script, which is converting uh, the NeoLoad script to JMX. So in, in fact, if you are someone who wants to convert your NeoLoad script to JMX, you can watch that video as well. It's in my playlist. And uh, I'm using that same script. I, I don't make any other changes to it. So I'm going to use the same exact script. Let me just add few, uh, let me just add few uh, think time to it so that we don't hit this application back to back again okay coming back to this one so i have my test plan and let me open a notepad file so that i'll take you through the instructions step by step and let me open a new file so the first step is have your jmeter script ready with all the components and then the second step is uh, under your thread group, right click, add and go to listener. Where are you, listener? Yeah, listener, and then select save, uh, sorry, simple data writer. So that's the second step. So add simple data writer listener to the test plan, right? And then I'm going to name this file. So let me click on browse and I'm going to, uh, I already have created a file, so I'll choose that file. In case if you haven't created it, please do create a file. Let me add that step as well. So under, um, so create a CSV file, CSV extension file. It can be any name, but it has to extend uh, end with CSV. So create a CSV extension file and add it to the, add it as a file name in simple data writer. Okay, and add it as a file for simple data writer right so let me add the test results simple data writer and now i have added it and the next part is we're going to configure so let me show you how to configure it the next step is configure the settings okay so go back to this configure part click on it and except the first one which is saving as xml check every single box that you see here every single thing uh, starting from saving the elapsed time save the response message saving the success save sent byte count save response file name save the encoding the idle time the response headers the accession results save field names label thread name accession failure message active thread counts latency, sample and error counts, request headers, response time. I mean, these can be XML, but still you have to save it. So in save timestamp, save response code, save data type, save received byte count, save the URL and save connect time, save host name, save sample and XML and save sub results. So all these, so the reason we are saving all these is uh, these will come or these will generate the items as part of your uh, HTML report. So that's the reason we have to say select all these uh, configurations. And now let me click done. So let me go back to my configure the settings. Except what is that? Except the first one. Except save as XML. 
select all except save as XML so except this step you can you have to choose every single configuration and now we are set let me save this I believe yeah we are set so let me run the test let me just clear everything and let me do a fresh test over an existing file let me go to the summary report and here we have started to see the uh, the samples that is getting loaded load tested and uh, let's let's uh, disable this for now let's don't want the view results tree to be executed I'm just having my uh, summary report that should be fine and you don't need any other um, uh, listeners apart from uh, the sample data writer which which is where you are saving all the required data right and then yep let's wait for a few more seconds and once this test is completed I will take you to the next steps where we're going to generate the load the HTML report right so let's come back after the test is completed so now the test has completed so the next step is okay, let, let me add this as well so execute the test and now the next step is on tools so click on tools and sorry uh, click on yeah click on tools and click generate HTML report and once you click on generate HTML report you'll get a screen uh, pop-up like this so let me add this as well the step so in step six click tools and then under that click tools and click on generate HTML report okay and here what we are going to do is so under browse so I'm going to choose the file that we have used in the sample data writer so that's in the convert NL to JM uh, folder and that's the test result so I'm going to open this file in the generated HTML report and then I'm going to open the user properties file and that's in in your bin folder so I'm going to choose the user properties file and then finally the output directory so for this one that's very important so you have to have a empty folder if you have uh, if you are assigning a folder that which, are, which has already files then that won't that will fail so for, for example let me show you um where is that which i have created for this so test results in html okay so this is the folder which i have created earlier so i'm going to use this folder and when i click generate report see you can see here the output directory the message that it says that the folder is not empty yes it's not empty so we always have to create a folder or, we, or else we have to have a new folder okay so test results in html format so make sure you are not having any spaces in between the name and i'm clicking on open so now i have configured the results file and then the user or properties file which is in the bin folder and then i have created a new folder for generating the output directory the output directory file and now when i click on generate report yes now the report has created and now let's move on to the folder and we'll see uh the results okay mm, yeah test report in html format and i'm clicking on the index.html and this has see i can show you the file see test results in html format and i'm going i've opened the index.html and this has actually opened the or this has actually generated the uh html report or the results in the html report or html format so here you can see uh, all the the custom graphs which i have added and then the response times the response time percentage so whatever the minimum amount of data that it can handle it has actually given it so it has it is showing the file name the start time the end time and then the response times the minimum average maximum and the percentile as well and then if there are any errors you can see those errors here and uh, yeah so this is uh, it's, it's a very basic one so it's, it's a very basic step and it it actually needs one single uh, plugin like our one single uh, yeah plugin which you wanted to add and that is the uh, simple data writer simple data writer and that makes all the difference in this particular uh, scenario where you want to generate your HTML report so just remember you just have to add the sample uh, simple data writer and then you have to add a file which ends with .csv format and once you run the test and after it is completed you have to uh, make uh, you have to uh, 
bring the file in here the csv file that you have generated in the uh, simple data writer uh, assign your user dot properties file yeah, in fact i will tell you in a separate video like what is the user dot properties file and because that has actually uh, it, it it does a lot of magic in terms of jmeter and then finally you have the output directory which has to be an empty directory so once you make all these three uh, changes all these three configurations you will be able to generate your html report successfully so with that i come to an end of this video until i meet you all in our next video it's bye bye from us in Shanmugam and your favorite little slaw youtube channel take care and bye bye